I don't know. Spring has sprung in Alaska. The leaves are on the trees. The spring mushrooms are popping. And our chickens? They're laying eggs like you wouldn't believe. But that's okay. Because that's what they do. And that's why we got them. Oh, ladies. But come December, that's going to stop. Oh, ladies. You're laying good for us, huh? Getting lots of eggs. More eggs than old Nomi can eat. So, like I said, come December, they won't be laying any eggs. So we gotta save some. There's a couple ways we can do that. One, water glass. Two, we can pickle them. Three, we can can and pickle them. And they'll last even longer. Now, this method is not recommended by the FDA. So if you're worried about that kind of thing, turn away. Or stick around and learn something. Because we're going to put eggs up to last for over a year. And they're going to be super delicious. Just like Nana Gnome used to make. Well, we're off to the VIP Brandons because they're on vacation. we got to watch the dogs. So let's get everything together and get into the kitchen. Let's pickle something. All right, Nomies, we're gonna to wanna to start off with a bunch of eggs. A bunch of eggs. Oh, we can see warm up here today. A bunch of eggs. That's more like it. What do you think? Don't mind the whiny dogs. They'll get used to the camera here. Anyway, what we got here is we got three dozen eggs. That's it. Three, three, three dozen eggs. Why three dozen eggs? Because I'm getting four. Excuse me. If you're going to be in the movie, you got to be quiet and wait your turn. Okay? Okay. Anyways. Why three dozen eggs? That's because my chickens be giving me four eggs a day, every day, for the past month and a half. So that's, let's see, every three days I'm getting a dozen eggs. I can't eat that many flipping eggs. So, what are we gonna do? Well, like you saw in the intro, we're making some pickled eggs. So, let's get crack a lacking, crank up the beets, and get these shelled. All right, we're gonna need another bowl to put all these eggs into. So let's get to, like I said. Well, like I said, crack a lack and crank up the beat. All right, Nomi's to answer the question you're all asking: Why are we being rebels? Why are we water bathing these eggs? Well, we want them to last. Your typical pickled egg, you stick in a jar all the stuff in there you want and you put a pickle weight on it make sure they're all submerged come back in about two or three weeks eat them yummy goodnesses up and they're good for about six months well we want to do better because in six months we want to start eating them seven months eat a little more eight months maybe eat even a little more if they last that long so that's why we're using this rebellious method one thing to consider when you are using this method is they are going to be cooked in the water bath for a little bit longer, so you might not want to hard boil them as much as you normally do your 9 or 11 minutes. Maybe cut it back to 6 or 7. And on that note, let's get back to the video. Come on. All right, Nomi's, there you go. We got all our eggs done. Now let's get to making some brine. Let's move over to the stove. All right, Nomi's, we're over here by the stove. And uh, we got a big pot going here. We're going to be water bathing this stuff. We got our jars in there. Right now, the, while that's coming up to boil, we're going to let this boil for about 10 minutes with them jars in there. Get them nice and sanitized. Same thing with the rainy dinghies. Got a pot of water here, just in case. We'll show you that later. And uh, we're going to pop it over. 
And let's see, what else do we need? Oh, let me get the tray pet set up. We get everything else covered. Stand by. Okay, Nomalies, are you ready for the top secret part of Nana Nomi's pickled eggs with beets? Well, it starts off with <gasps> pickled beets. They're already pickled. We need to juice some of the beets. How much of that juice? Well, two of them pint-sized jars should give you two cups. Now, save these. Don't eat them all yet. We're gonna need them. What else are we gonna need? An onion. Let's get that chopped up. Mm, just like that. All right, we're gonna set them aside for a minute with our beets. Let's get back to the brine here. What are we going to need next? Well, we to start off with some apple cider vinegar. Two cups of that too. Now let's talk about vinegar here for a minute, Nomi's. When you're doing some pickling stuff, you want to make sure that you have a minimum. Let's see if it says on here. A minimum of 5% acidity in your vinegars. Especially if you're doing just a straight vinegar where you're just going to throw it in a cool pantry in a cool place park and uh, keep it that way. No less, no more. Every once in a while you'll see recipes out there that call for vinegar and some water. Don't do it. Don't do it. It won't last near as long. You need that acid up as high as it'll go. Alright, let's put that in there. Now we're going to need a little bit more vinegar and I'm going to use white vinegar. White vinegar has got a little bit more of a bite to it. Some people don't like that. You can use all white. You can use all apple cider. You can use fitty veggie. You can do what I'm doing. Two thirds, one third. Let's bring that up to heat. One third of a cup brown sugar. One third of a cup white sugar. And get that all dissolved and nice and warm. Actually, we want this hot. Bring it up to a simmer. All right, Nomi's, that's coming up to a boil. That just got done boiling for about 10 minutes. So we're gonna turn that off. Let's throw our goods in there. Those are brand new goods out of the box. Just let them get warmed up and seal soft. This has been boiling away. Yeah, we can probably shut this off. We've got another pot of boiling water here, just in case. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, they've been boiling away. Let me get things resituated around here and reorganized because we're ready to fill jars. You ready? Are you ready? Let's go! All right, we'll rearrange a little bit better here. I'm gonna have to hold you back so you don't steam up. But basically, what I did was I put my jars in here that I'm going to use. I filled them full of water, and then I brought in enough water here to come almost up to the top. There's a reason for that. We're going to need a lot of boiling water when you do water bath. In fact, it's got to be about an inch or two above the jars for this process to work properly. So let's get these jars out of here, get the water drained off of them. I did do a couple extra, just in case, because you never know. All right, I'm going to... Oh! I'm going to need two hands. We'll be back. All right, Nomi, so hopefully you're in a good spot here. What we're going to do, this batch of brine that I made up will do four jars with eight eggs in a piece. Maybe seven eggs. Sometimes if you got bigger ones, you get seven. But anyway, eight eggs per jar, one batch of brine. So let's put her all together. We're going to start off with three eggs in each jar. Down to bottoms. To that, we're going to put some of our beets back in there. Fill in some of them cracks and crevices. And also, on y'all, some of that in there. 
much as you like. Or don't put any at all. I like that. Alright, let's finish doing this. And uh, yeah, crank up the beats. Now make sure you don't crowd your jars too much there, Nomi's, because the eggs will get squished up against the glass. They won't get pickled properly and you get big old white spots. Another thing is make sure you don't have any exposed yolks or cracked whites. They won't pickle properly. Make your stuff all cloudy and nasty looking. Yuck. Avoid them. All right, Nomi's, we got our jars ready to go in the water. Got the heat cranked up. Let me get these in here. Make sure they're covered with at least an inch of water. Now I'm awfully glad I got some extra jars ready. For one reason you'll find out here in a second. Second reason is, I had enough eggs to do five jars. So I whipped up another half a batch of brine, and there you go. Alright, there's five. And so we can uh, take up some more space. Not have to put as near as much water in there. That's where these extra jars come into handy. There you go. Bring this up to a boil. Put the lid on it. Ten minutes. We'll be back. Alright. Voila! In ten minutes. We let it come cool down for a little bit. Let it quit bu bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. And uh, we're just going to gingerly take these out of here. Hope for the best. Hope them lids go poppity pop pop. Even if they don't, it's okay. You can eat them anyway. Just wait about two weeks for them to pickle properly. Now we just gotta wait for the pop. That one's already down. Up. There we go. These others go on their own. Alright, there you are. We're gonna let these cool overnight. Looks like all of them popped. Except for one, it's being a little stubborn. Check on that before. Even if it doesn't seal, that never pops. They're still good. They're just regular pantry pickled. They'll still last for like two or three months on the shelf just like that. As long as they're in a cool dark place. Or after three weeks, eat them up. Well, 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 there you go, Nomi. Five jars. Beautifully preserved. Beat pickled eggs. Hey, I'm trying to make a movie. I'm trying to make a movie. Go lay down. I'm trying to make a movie. Go lay down. Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, five jars of beet pickled eggs. What I did notice is that these that had more beets in them, they stayed more red. These didn't have quite as many. They faded out a little bit, but you know what? They're still going to be yummy. And they're going to be good for maybe over a year. <laughs> if they last that long. Alright, one other thing. I did label these with the date. And I did not label them with the date that I made it. I labeled, labeled them with the date three weeks ahead of time. So I know when they're ready. Alright. See you in three weeks. What do you think? Huh? What do you think? Huh? Yeah. 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 I wish we were ready now too. Never change things by fighting the existing reality. To change something, build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete. Put your comment down on the bottom. Click the subscribe down on the bottom. Click the like button down on the bottom. Or make a comment down on the bottom. Peace out.